Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this animated intro by using Keynote and this is absolutely free and you can just um, make any intro that you want to using Keynote once you get the hold of it. So first what I'll be needing is the background, the watercolor splash background that I just showed you. So for that, I'm just going to search for watercolor splash PNG backgrounds on the internet. So I typed Craft Hubs because it's a good website to uh, get the PNG backgrounds. So I'll just be looking for the right background that I need. And I'm just going to um, type some options until I find the one that I is convenient for me. So um, this takes a while. So I'm just looking through and... Um, this is the one that caught my eye but then um, I'll just looking for any option that seems better to me but then <laughs> since this is a tutorial I'll just stick to this one because this looks pretty nice so I'm just going to save it to my computer um, and make sure that the format is PNG and just save it and then I'll just be going to Keynote to edit the intro so in Keynote, I'm going to open a new document. I'm just going to choose white. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in my text. So for this, I'm just going to keep it really simple. Welcome to my channel and please subscribe. So you can obviously add in any text that you want to. So this is a very basic tutorial for Keynote. Once you get the hold of this, you can actually uh, make any intro that you want to. So now I'm just going to change the font. So I had already used the font that I wanted previously. So that's in my recent use. And I'm just going to use this font and adjust the font size a bit, um, increase it. And then I'm going to do the same to the please subscribe um, caption. So for that, I'm just going to use a different font. And then again, I'm just going to increase um, the font size a bit so that it's prominent. Next, I'm going to go to insert and choose and from there, I'm just going to choose the PNG file which I had saved earlier. And now I'm just going to adjust the size of the file so that it fits my screen and looks nice. I'm just going to try different styles to see which one looks good. I'm going to uh, bring down the opacity, but um, I would like to keep the uh, image at it, as it is. Uh, so the opacity, I kept it to 100. And I chose a style that looks nice to me. You can choose any style that you wish to, obviously. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to navigate a bit and see um, what looks good to me and take the image uh, to the back so, so that the text comes to the front. Next, um, as you can see, the black is not standing out um, quite well against the blue and pink background. So I'm just going to change the font color to white. Um, so what had happened was uh, I um, faltered in clicking the please subscribe text while changing the color but now it's all right. So uh, next I'm just going to readjust the text sizes again because it doesn't look quite um, right to me. I want it to be more prominent so I'm just going to um, readjust it. It's very important because when you uh, put it in your video then um, it must stand out so do spend a bit of time on that so uh, just increase the font size according to your wish and now it looks fine to me 
so next what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to animate and for animate I'm going to go to add an effect and make sure you go to the special effects section and I'm going to just browse through some effects and see which one looks good to me so I'm just going to preview them this looks hideous by the way so I'm just not going to use this um, just checking again to make sure but no so I'm going to see which looks better oh my god this looks terrible as well so I'm going to go for another one um, this looks pretty nice to me so next I'm going to change the please subscribe animation so um, this looks quite nice next what I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to set um, the animation of um, the uh, welcome to my channel uh, text and uh, just change the duration of it it is very important because you do not want all your text to come all one at one go so um, next it's about the background so just changing the animation of that as well I think this looks pretty nice but since it's an intro you don't want to uh, commit all it, um, uh, come let the whole of it come at once so now i'm just going to build the order of it so first i'm going to take the background up so that it comes first and then i want the welcome to my channel to come and then obviously please subscribe So next I'll just be adjusting the duration of it and after how long I want it to come. We, uh, so I'll just make it um, please subscribe button to come after build 2 which is my welcome to my channel button and I'm just going to click preview to see if I'm okay with it. This step is probably the most important step because it uh, the whole video depends on how you adjust this. So I'm just going to recheck the preview button and make it according to what I want it to be well I am <laughs> misjudged I thought that two seconds will be less but no it seems quite a lot so I just took down the duration a bit and now I'm pretty satisfied with it so I'm just going to export it to um, quick time format in the 1080p format because that's what um, I want it to be when it's on YouTube since it's a new YouTube intro I'm just going to um, name it new intro and save it so it's creating the movie now so I'm now going to close the window so as you can see keynote opens up to you a whole world of possibilities and initially I did not know how to do it and I uh, once I learned it it just changed my whole perspective on intros so I'm just going to show you how it's looking so this is it guys um, I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe if you did. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.